Ever wondered how to think like a robot? How to create content that says exactly how you want to find it? That's what we're going to talk about today. Have you ever wondered how Google interprets or sees content? It's not like how we see it. It gives you about eight seconds to come to that piece of content, figure out what it's about, and then go to the next page, and the next page, and the next page. In eight seconds, it's probably generous. So I wanna show you an easy tip to check in and see, am I writing about what I think I'm writing about? There's a wonderful tool that I love to reference. Oh, before I go any farther, make sure to get the document that is in the description of this YouTube video. It's gonna walk you through how to think like a robot and walk you through all the steps of this word cloud tool that I'm gonna show you right now. So here you'll see that the document in front of you, think like a robot. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to wordart.com. All right, now that we've gone to wordart.com, you're gonna hit the green button that says create now. Now you guys have all seen these silly word cloud tools. They've been around for a while. People were putting them on everything a couple years ago. I don't know if they thought it made them look smart or something, but this is a fantastic tool for a word cloud. So when you come in here, you've hit create now. Then you're gonna go over here under this big gray bar that says words, you're gonna to go to import and you'll see two tabs. One says text, one says web. We're gonna to go to web. That is where you are going to enter in your website address. So I'm gonna put mine, findability.com. Now what you'll see over in the left hand side is I've got 21 references of findable, 21 references of SEO, 16 of meet, and 14 of online, and the rest of the repetitions on that page. So what Google does is it comes to the page, grabs all the content inside that can see, and then it's gonna figure out, well, what does all those elements mean? This tool takes all the content and sorts it by keyword phrase so that you can see based on the number of repetitions, what am I really talking about? Then you come over here and you hit visualize. Now you get this really cool word cloud. Now the biggest, most repeated phrase is gonna be the biggest phrase on this word cloud. So what you're seeing is findable has 21 references and SEO has 21 references. So right now my website is about findable SEO. Then of course we can add on meet, which is 16. And then of course online, which is 14. Now, if I want to adjust this for a different keyword, then I'm going to have to change the repetitions on that page so my word cloud has different, bigger phrases. This is like, I also think like, if you put all your page content into a blender and you hit frappe, all the larger chunks <laughs> flow to the top. I know, weird analogy. But I'm just trying to say, it's like it doesn't know what it's about just because you wrote it. And it doesn't mean you wrote about that keyword. A lot of times we get sucked into writing content that just sounds greater is grammatically correct as opposed to really thinking about how do I want this to be found. So once you do that, you can also go to shapes and you could turn it into a heart or a hedgehog, whatever makes you happy. It's still going to be the same optimization. So remember the biggest keywords is going to be the ones that are most repeated on the page. So after you write your content, you wanna make sure that you go back, run a word cloud on it, now I make all my content writers, so I have a lot of different content writers, and I make them provide this word cloud back to me so that I know that they're talking about what I've hired them to rank for. So when we're thinking about how do I check my work, write your article and then pop it in here and see if you're really writing to what you think you're writing about. And this is a great way to check your work. Another fantastic tool is copyscape.com. Now what Copyscape will do is it will let you check to make sure no one else is using that content anywhere on the web. There's a big issue with duplicate content. Google does not like, no likey good duplicate content, meaning that I see the same content on multiple websites over and over and over again. Google timestamps when you launch a page, whether it be on the website or it be a blog post, it's timestamped. So anything that is the exact content that gets published after that is seen as duplicate content. And when you hire outside writers, they make pull content from other places on the website that you wouldn't even know. This is a way to check their work. So that's copyscape.com and wordart.com. Wordart is a game changer. Not only does it make these silly word clouds actually usable, but now you can focus on 
What does the robot think about what I'm writing versus what I really am writing? And how can you strike a balance between the two? That was a cool tool, right? I love tools. I'm crazy about tools. I love to geek out on great, findable tools. If you like what you heard today, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, you can sign up for a findability review at any time. The link's in the description below, and I'll see you on my next tool and tip.